Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Yes. Dirt roads. <laughs> All right. Well, this morning, I've got to go after something that's mine. Uh, last night, we came back from the Ozarks uh, YouTube meetup Jan put on up in uh, Missouri. And uh, But today, I'm on a mission. I let my uh, youngest son, he always borrows my truck. No fear there. Any of the kids, no fear. But the worst happened, and uh, not his fault. Uh, somebody just plain pulled out and tried to cross a four-lane road right in front of them. And uh, I guess the speed limit around there is 35, 40 miles an hour. But they, he had no time to stop, and he T-boned the guy. Um, man, let's get off this road. Oh. All right, he T-boned the guy. Well, he hit the guy in the... Uh, I guess driver's fender or right passenger front fender wheel and um, so yeah uh, the nose of my truck is damaged but something I found out this morning and um, I guess you know I did, I, something I found out this morning that uh, the truck has no oil pressure and he did say he was losing oil so um, from the pictures that I've seen it, um, I can't get, I'm not going to be able to get the hood open. So I'm going to have to start it dry. I want, oh, look, turkey. If you see it running through, we get a wild turkey. Anyway, I'm going to have to get the trailer set up right and fire it up one time shot and get it on a trailer. I can't put hood uh, oil in it. And, um, it should be okay as long as he said he didn't run it long. The oil's just coming out of it, so the only thing I can the only thing I can think of is the oil pan is broke. How I don't know. Um, but I guess we'll find that out after I get it home. So that's what I'm heading out to. Uh, he is okay, um, other than his pride. Um, he knows how much I really wanted to drive that truck a million miles but anyway we're going to no matter what it will be fixed here's the big thing the guy that he hit was driving a dodge hemi charger and uh, he just bought the car the guy sports a florida driver's license and with a paper tag on it Next thing, has no insurance on his car, so something fishy's going on there. And uh, he said he would help fix ours, right? You know how that rolls. But we'll see. Um, and I'm kind of glad in a way that they're it's not involved with an insurance company because um, I don't want the, my Ranger totaled. Um, it's my get around junk truck. Um, you, know, you can't buy trucks these days, or let alone a Ranger, under a thousand dollars, and if it's a junk truck. So I want, I want my truck. We're gonna go back. We're gonna pick it up. We're gonna analyze what it needs, and um, all right, we're gonna try to fix this thing, make it drivable again. All right, I will turn this on when I get back down there again, and uh, we're gonna see what it looks like. That's the vehicle at him. And we're going to take a look at my truck. Yeah, it's junk, but that's what I used to get around in. Hmm. Tire can still clear. Hood will not open up. Looks like the nose was pushed over to the passenger side. That's all I can tell you. This is the one that hit. he hit. Look at this guy's car. <laughs> yeah. Driver compartment looks good.
It don't look like his airbags went off. Can't see through the tin windows, but I can see in the dash. In fact, I don't know if you can see in there. Airbags do not go off in his vehicle. Mine does not have airbags. And according to my son, he said he was okay and walked away fine. walk around the other side of the car there we go looks like he was drinking water in Zena or I can't read that Zona maybe a I need you drink but that's this one now I need to get this on my trailer Well guys, I can't see where um, the oil pans, something happened to the oil pan, he had of, and motor had to shift the forward and punched a hole in front of the oil pan. Uh, very little oil pressure, it's almost probably empty. So let me get this thing strapped down and uh, I'll bring it back when I'm done. All right, we got it loaded up. It's all tied down, ready to go. I think that the front horns are pushed over a little bit, um, but strapped them right head home. And we'll see what we got. We got storms all day today coming in. So my goal is to get home and then we'll go from there. I'll bring it along as I go. Once I figure out how I'm gonna get the hood open and take a look to see what the oil leak is. I can't see nothing underneath. I'm hoping it's the oil filter the engine move forward and hit the oil filter that'd be great but all right need to start home we got about a an hour's drive <laughs> 